Well, you live and learn. You never stop learning in this gardening game, do you? So, um, another year, another winter, another cluster of um, cordyline palm, although not really a palm, looks like a palm tree, um, cordyline australis uh, seeds that we didn't get any in the school, so I need to thank my neighbours, uh, Simon and Nadine, for kindly donating me uh, this lovely bunch of, uh, of, of seeds uh, from their cord line. That's my lovely next door neighbours. Um, I call them seeds, but actually, probably they're more accurately described as a berry that contains seeds. And uh, previously, we've, we've just kind of chucked these, um, these berries into um, trays of compost like this and uh, and we get a very good germination. Um, last year we we had some cold weather early in the winter and so I cut them, I think I maybe cut them a bit early so we didn't get such a good germination rate and when I was looking online, in fact I think someone might have commented on one of my previous videos, thank you very much whoever you are if I can track you down, I'll give you a credit on the uh, description in this video because that's the sort of guy I am. Um, someone suggested that actually we needed to break open these uh, these seed, these berries and get the black little black seeds out from inside. So this year we've left it a bit later um, and I'm doing this now in the middle of January and um, I'm starting to split open these berries to reveal and you see them, these tiny little seeds, and I'm just kind of getting a little collection of seeds together. You just need to kind of split open the, um, the little berry, and these little black seeds pop out. They are there, you probably get sometimes one, sometimes, oh, I've got three in this one. Another one there, come on. A bit sticky, I don't know if this, uh, oh, it's four there, actually. I don't know if this, this berry material is poisonous, so I'm gonna make sure I, wash my hands afterwards just in case. So splitting open the berries, um, getting rid of the husks, one tray of, um, of berries, each one containing two or three seeds like we normally do, we'll try that. But then I'm going to scatter these little black seeds that we've managed to uh, split. Scatter the little black seeds. Come on fellas. You've got an exciting life ahead of you. Oh, yeah, it's amazing to think, isn't it, that we, you know, we're doing this. Um, and these little fellas, well, I'm now 60 years old, and uh, it's quite likely, very likely, that they're going to, if these germinate, that they will outlive me. Um, so if you're watching this video um, in the 22nd century or something like that, and you're admiring your cold lime palm tree in your garden, it could have been just here that it started. <laughs> but then again, may not. But these things can last for a long year, a long time. Uh, my my cordyline, uh, my oldest cordyline plant in my in my garden at home is well, it must be um, at least 30, 30 years old. I would say about thirty five, maybe forty. Um, back in the eighties. Um, I had it in my garden and uh, it's been almost killed off by the frost a few times but it just keeps on coming back and um, get the last few now. Come on, there we go, the last few seeds scattered. So you can just see them on the, on the soil surface there. So I'm just going to get some, uh, oh, some seed compost and uh, likely very likely cover them with some compost. There we go. So they're just under a couple of millimetres of, uh, of compost there. Um, I've probably put a little bit more compost to cover. There's lots more of those, those berries hidden underneath. There's a couple just poking through. 
and we'll run the little experiment now and we shall see how the germination compares between those two. I'm just going to pop them into the um, the greenhouse um, next next door. It's not a particularly hot greenhouse and we just have a little tiny uh, heater in there, a little electric heater on a very low setting on the thermostat so it just keeps the, the hard frosts off. It probably just it's only, it goes down to kind of zero, maybe one or two degrees. It doesn't get particularly hot this time of the year and uh, we'll give them a quick drink and Hopefully, where are we doing this middle of January? I would hope that by early April, maybe middle of April, about three months, we should see little seedlings coming up. They'll look like grass almost um, when they first germinate because actually, uh, cooler lines, we call it the palm, cooler line palm, but actually it's probably more closely related to, um, to grass than to a palm tree. Anyway, let's see what happens with these, uh, these seeds and these berries. And the race is on. Off you go, boys. Germany.